So let me guess, you're probably on YouTube right now because your photos either turned out too exposed or too underexposed, meaning too light or too dark. Well, you probably ignored the histogram or maybe you just don't know what it is. So let me explain to you exactly what it is and how it's gonna help you save your photos. But if you close your eyes Now you're probably like Adam that doesn't really tell me much, I'm gonna hit that dislike button. But before you do, give me one more second, let me explain to you what the histogram is. Now when you're editing your photo in whatever program you wanna edit, you're gonna see in the top right corner, you're gonna see a graph looking thing. You're also gonna see the same thing on your camera screen when you're taking photos. Well, that graph looking thing is your histogram and it's super helpful in nailing your exposure every time. Let me explain a little bit further. The graph is basically a report of all your pixels in your photo and how bright they are from a scale of pure black on the left and pure white on the right. The taller the bar, the more pixels in that brightness scale. Now when you're out taking a photo and you look down at your histogram and you notice everything's shifting over to the left, it means that your shadows are clipped. Now vice versa, if it shifts all the way to the right, it means that your highlights are clipped, which clipping automatically means that there's no data or no information in there that you can pull from, which means it's lost. So with that being said, let me show you what a super bright photos histogram looks like. As you can see, everything is slanted over to the right, which means that your highlights are actually gonna be clipped and you're not gonna have any data in those bright areas. Now vice versa, let's look at a super dark photo. As you can see, everything is gonna be slanted to the left, which means that your shadows are gonna be clipped and you have no information in the blacks. Now let's say a super bright photo's histogram looks like this and a super dark looks like this. Well, then you're gonna be after something like this, which is a perfectly exposed histogram as neither the shadows or the highlights are gonna be clipped off. Now understand that this is gonna be a hard set rule and it's gonna depend on a couple factors like your style and your scene. Now, if you're shooting for something a little more moody, then you're gonna want a histogram that's gonna be slanted a little more to the left and it's gonna look something like this. Now, if you're after something that's a little more bright and airy, you're gonna want something more slanted to the right, and you're gonna want your histogram to look something like this. But no matter what style you want to achieve, understand that your histogram is gonna be there to help you nail your photo exact. Well, that's really it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, take care, everybody.